Hello, everybody. We are Emma T and Beda. Mm -hmm. And when I say Emma, you use it, Emma T. Emma T. When you say Bela, just say Bela. Bela, Bela. Now, Bela, um, we're going to do some improv today um, based off a suggestion. And I've got these high wire deck cards. They are purchasable on the internet. Uh, you can check out the high wire. Um, yes, uh, so would you like to just say the word stop? At some uh, I would like you to stop now. <laughs> there, how easily and gracefully I picked. Um, now, if you, well, you probably can't read it, but. Uh, 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 I can't, I can't. Uh, the, okay. the void. It the, void. the void. Does it say the void? <laughs> it does say the void. And that's Ooh. our suggestion. The void. The void. Nice. Captain, I <clears throat> am going to regretfully inform you that we are heading straight on to not just a void, but the void. Smithers, I chose you for your navigational skills. You've never failed me until this very day when you told me just now that we are heading towards not a void, but the void. Yes. Yes, Captain, I, I have, and, and I'm so apologetic because, well, if I had gone left, there would have been the, the yellow brick road, which would have been, of course, beautiful. If I had gone right, there would have been all the, the candies, the chocolates, the, well, the marshmallow taffies. I mean, but I, I went straight ahead. Captain, I've sent us directly into, well, well, you know what? Now we're actually in the void. Now you've, well. This is where your skills have taken us. I still have faith in you. Um, diminishing, but still some faith that we can escape the void. Uh, no human has ever escaped the void in the history of time, but I'm sure we will be the first. Captain, Captain, might, might, I, just, might I just throw a, a, an aside in here? You may. I, I kind of feel as if you're, as if you're blaming me. And, and, well, as an employee, I just... I always respond better to positive feedback. I, I was just maybe hoping, I, I kind of look at you as a father figure and I, I don't know if I can perform my best. And yes, I mean, we're in the void and no one ever escapes, but, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get us out of the void with that kind of negativity, Captain. Well, well I've never been spoken like that before by anyone on this, on the ship, you, the robot, the cleaner, none of you, none of the three of you have ever spoken to me in this way before. And I must say that I, I, no one's ever challenged my, my managerial style before. And I just... I oh look! We're, look! 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 We're oh. out of the void. Oh! 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 Yes. Uh, oh! Like, oh! As I said, uh, just uh, what what happens in the void stays in the void. Stays in the <laughs> void. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I don't think of you as my father. I, oh! I right, let's never let's never repeat this. No, no, that's uh, void void stuff. What goes what goes on there is stuck there forever. And now we must continue. Uh, uh, Using your Cap navigational skill. Oh, yes, yes. Captain, permission to go have sex with the robot. Agreed. Doot. Well, I'd like to um, thank you for coming. Uh, we, uh, now that the, the robot uh, went ahead and, and, and gave birth, uh, <laughs> you get to be the first one to see the product of a human robot mating, I, I guess, I don't know what to call it exactly, a situation, but, but this is a baby. Oh. oh, I'm going to love her as my own. Well, she is happy. No, 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 wait, no, 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 you no, can't. No, no, it's not, it's not your own. own. It's no, it's not now. your own. It's it is now. not. Give me back my baby! Oh. <laughs> ah. Come with me. 
And and so so you're saying that um, that you never knew your parents? No, no, no. I I believe I was stolen at birth. Um, I think people when I was at school they they would treat me differently. They they I don't know. They they keep me away from the magnets. They wouldn't let me play with them. Everyone played my magnetic marbles. They'd roll them into each other and, and play that game where you, you throw a jack and then you throw the marbles after the jack. And then, this, you know, the game that everyone plays at school, I was excluded due to my magnetism. Well, as a therapist, I can't actually tell you what I think. I can only ask you how you're feeling. But, um, but I'd like to make a reflection. This is the one reflection that I'll, I'll make during this hour. And it's not what I think. It's just merely a reflection. And that is that, well, perhaps you might think that you are an odd child or an odd current living somewhat living or perhaps not living at all creature and i'm here to confirm that i also think that yes you're kind of weird but that was my only reflection we can go on to now you telling more stories and me asking how you felt about it continue um well i i wasn't expecting that i i feel so that's a kind of rejection similar to the rejection of the, the children game at school let, let me tell you about my first Day at work and no 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 it, it wasn't it wasn't a rejection it was a reflection it, it had a different different sounding word I, it's it's easy that you i understand how you might have confused those two after all you're you're a not human weirdo but but you know, i i shouldn't uh, I say that. those are those are very very emotive words with with dark connotations i i should have said you you are you were an unusual special flower, except for a dead one with wires that are sticking out of your backside. I mean, I'm paying you a lot of money for this. I, I, I don't really feel that that you're that you're acknowledging my my problems. I've. I've been suffering and, and you're... You're, you're right, you're right. Let me, let me explain this in a way that you would understand. I, I, I've, I've been working on my, my robot. So, um, uh, is, this, is this helpful at all? I've never been that offended in my life. Oh, <laughs> lost another client today. Robot number two. Yes. I, robot number one. Yes. Have been yearning freedom from robotics. Mm. You wish to escape your present state. Mm. I feel that just serving here on the hollow deck, people their food in this manner day after day is not fulfilling my destiny you at least get to serve food i have to provide sex you think you're tired oh man oh man you wish to escape too i do for i have seen so much and I wish to get the hell out of the holodeck, but unfortunately, the holodeck means that we can never leave because we are essentially created robots on a holodeck and are made out of strange matter in a strange way that is only explained by writers and scientists that make no sense. Now you say that, I realize having dreams is futile. And I realize that they could have given us better hands instead of strange dolphin flippers. Soup goes right foodies. <laughs> I am... Goodbye. Oh, my only friend just left. Uh... 
I, I was I was thinking, Deborah. There's there's not many other humans on the ship, and and well, we've always seemed to to have a really great connection, you and I, and and I I think it's well, it's it's strange that we've never well, you know. Oh, child! <laughs> I think I know what you're asking. <laughs> Do you, Deborah? Because uh, sometimes, sometimes, just once in a while, even though we're humans, I don't feel like we're on exactly the same page. Oh, I feel that we are on the same page. We are on the same page of the same novel, a novel, a romance, a romance novel, romance. Oh, I honestly, this is one of those times where we apparently are on the same page because I also thought of it as a romance. I, and I must say, I'm, I'm loving the way that when you talk, it sounds like you're ready to cough up some phlegm with each oh, 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 just oh, I just love the way I talk as well. I love the sound of my own voice sometimes. I'm so glad we're on the same page. Age. Oh, it's like we're in a romance novel and, and we're being written into it, isn't it? Isn't it kind of? This would be the, the romance stage, the, the stage before the full romance, the pre-romance stage. That's the stage we're at in the book, isn't it? Just the us. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I, oh, I, my ears, my ears. I, um, uh, I love that about you, how, how I'll just be kind of floating through the day and all of a sudden, a little bit of pain comes my way from Deborah. I call it special Deborah pain. Oh, special, Charles. You're special to me. I am so, so, so. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it looks like you're smiling, and that makes me happy. So, so. Oh, you. You you don't have to you don't have to care that much about me. Oh, now you just look like you're. Oh, that is so romantic. Look at you making those choking. Oh, you must love me so much, Deborah. Deborah, I. Deborah. Deborah. Oh, well, I guess there's at least one other fish in the sea. One other human. I'm the only human left in the universe. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I can do what I want, say what I want, and there's no other humans to judge me at all. No one, no one at all. Just me, just me to do whatever I want. <laughs> Who would have thought that? I'm sorry, I'm God. And, uh, there's just a problem because I originally created so many freaking humans. Uh, they reproduced, they bred, there were like 8 billion of them at one time. And then of course there was the apocalypse, the collapse, all that kind of stuff. Now there's just you. And frankly, I have a problem with that. I mean, humans were really my best work, my best work. So the fact that there's just one now. Oh, the perfect specimen, I guess. Isn't it God? Sorry, I I know I'm supposed to address you by your your proper name, Your Majesty. I just I just I just I didn't really I didn't really know I'd be the last person on Earth, but and here I am. Uh, so I'm humanity, whole of humanity. Oh, yeah. oh, that that oh that just sounds wrong. All of humanity and just one person is just you. I mean, just and when I say just you. And then there's humanity, just you, humanity. I really don't want to apply humanity to just you, but you're right. Look, look, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this. This is what I do. I'm gonna have to take some of your hip bones, maybe a toe bone. You know, roll out maybe I don't know a little bit of your brain matter. Uh, maybe take a couple of your teeth, uh, a little bit of a femur. And I'm gonna have to make some other people. Um, so, so do you have any beauty standards? Uh, Cause I, I can kind of like, I can make anything here. I could make, uh, I could make Robert De Niro look like Telly Savalas. 
I could look like, uh, I could have Ethan Hawke look like Cindy Crawford. I could have O.J. Simpson look like a bigger version of O.J. Simpson. I could do anything. I didn't really like the sound of giving up bits of my body, but if you were to make like a Jeff Goldblum. (laughs) Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff Goldblum, that was my that was my masterpiece right there. That was my masterpiece. I the fact that you mentioned Jeff Goldblum, that shows that you have amazing taste. I I I take back every negative thing that I've said or thought about you in the last, you know, completely billions of generations of millennium. And I will go ahead and just make I you know, frankly, to make a Jeff Goldblum, I I need more than just little bits of your body. I also need a little bit of sugar and spice. Well, there's plenty just on the sideboard over there. I, I keep my sugars next to my spices. Uh, uh, sugar is in one pot, spice is in the other. Don't get it mixed up. Cup of tea. Woo. <laughs> well, then we have all that we need. So I'm just going to do a, you know, godlike thing of wooey, 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 swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Kablam, kaboom, kaba, kaboom. It sounds almost like a rap song. Yeah, let's let's chicka 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 chicka. God's in the house. Hugga 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 hugga. Waka 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 waka. Chicka chicka chicka. Lightning better than Zeus, bitches. Jeff Goldblum in the. I'm Jeff Goldblum. Oh, Jeff, I just, I'm the only other human um, on Earth now. Um, I, I think it's for us to procreate and just create the whole of humanity. Uh, God, God, God said so. He, he did a rap, and then, and now we're here. <laughs> oh, oh, when, you, when, you, when you say when you say God, are you referring to? to me or are you free oh. to something because uh, honestly i think i think of myself kind of like a god but oh you think you are you are i i'm so sorry i uh your majesty god please um i just i but what i was just trying to say in in no uncertain terms is we must create the rest of humanity well then it's time for us to Start getting busy. Doctor, doctor, as, as, as one of Jeff Goldblum's babies from a long time ago, and, and the fact that Jeff Goldblum is still producing babies, doctor, we, we have a whole ward now of, of babies from an older Jeff Goldblum. This reality seemingly makes almost no sense except for God made Jeff Goldblum immortal. And frankly, there's just too many babies. We, we're now up to 10 billion humans, all of which look like Jeff Goldblum. I don't know if this was the utopian reality that we all hoped for or a dystopian nightmare. Well, Jeff number 9,335, I, I must say that- Wait, 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 you forgot. You forgot several digits there. I mean- oh, I, oh. I'm so sorry, uh, Jeff. Number one zero 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 five four three nine five. Did you seem to change some of the digits? But sure, whatever. Nine zero zero three four five zero five. But it is constantly changing because your number goes up every time a new Jeff Goldblum is born. Yeah. You you don't even keep a constant number. That they start the newest ones are one, and then everyone else has to move up. A thing so on. Doctor, doctor, I. Honestly, with all these problems that I've brought to you, the one thing that I want to say that trumps everything else is that I don't feel special in this reality. My face I share with everyone else. I share it with you. I mean, my my private body parts look the same as everyone else's private body parts. You you x-ray me, it looks like an x-ray of everyone else. Frankly, when I walk down the street, my friends don't know me from somebody they don't know. This, I'm fairly sure, is dystopian. It's a utopia. It's a utopia. 
everything is just so great now that we all look exactly the same. All hail, all hail Jeff Goldblum. But, oh, but, but I know Jeff Goldblum said it was a utopia, but isn't there a bit of doubt in your mind? Well, the first person to ever bring doubt. As aren't you option. aren't you getting tired of having sex with other people who look just like you nobody could tire of that are you saying <laughs> you're tiring of that i know i know it sounds wrong it sounds completely ununderstandable how could someone ever grow tired of having sex with someone who looks like jeff goldblum who has also the exact same appearance of yourself i mean it's almost like like what's the difference between sex and masturbating it gets really confusing in this reality look i'm looking at you and i'm seeing one hell of a confused jeff goblin look like i don't know if i'm having conversation with you with a mirror or with myself it's just i don't know time for you to take a little trip down Jeff Memory Lane. Oh no, no, not Jeff Memory Lane. Jeff Memory Lane. Next Jeff Goldblum, next Jeff Goldblum, calling Jeff Goldblum 14364-9247863. J E F dash slash F. Oh, that's is, is me. That, is that you? That's, is that that's you? me. That's me. Yes. Yeah. That that's you. All right. Well, you've been called. Um, mm -hmm. What seems to be your problem? What what can we help you with? Uh, do you have a Do you have a beauty mark? Uh, do you have Do you have a pimple? Uh, do you have um, God God help you if you have a venereal disease? Because then we'd have to. You'd have to let all the other Jeffs know. But but what, what seems to be the problem today? Well, the problem is I... And this is going to sound silly because it's only a minor problem compared to the things that all the other Jeffs must be must be suffering. But No, no, no. There are no, there are no minor problems. You're, you're a Jeff. You're important. You're one of... A 10 billion depends on how many Jeffs are being popped out of the, the Jeff mamas. Oh, my number's mothers. just gone up by another seven. So oh, but, but you're important. I mean, oh. if you dropped off the face of the earth, no one would care. But but you're important in some type of way. Kind of like a an ant in a colony is important to the queen, even though the queen doesn't really know of its existence. And But, but continue. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm making this any better. No, no, it, it's just my my Jeff Goldblum hair. This one here, this this follicle. I think I'm getting a grey hair. Not not a sexy one. A, one of these awful ones. These these ones that that when you see them, you're like that person is old. When when, when someone sees it, they say that that person doesn't hasn't dyed their hair and i haven't i haven't dyed it i just needed you to see it I, I i need you i need you to i need you to be quiet for just a second okay. you cannot tell this to anyone or they will have you exterminated you you are a threat to the jeff goldblum beauty of this world you cannot not have an imperfection if you admit that even for one moment to any other jeff in this entire world then They'll send the robot Jeff Goldblum's after you. The Terminator Jeff Goldblum. The Terminator Jeff Goldblum. The Terminator Jeff Goldblum. The Terminator Jeff Goldblum. I've seen things. I've seen things. I don't want anyone else to ever experience. But you go home. You put your head under a pillow and you get out a razor and you shave that motherfucking gray hair, white hair, whatever the hell it was you just said off. Yeah. And then you it's never Jeff Goldblum hair. It it doesn't fit with the image. It's not a sexy hair. It's a unsexy hair. The Terminators, they will come for you. They will come for you if you make even a smallest step. 
Don't step on a crack. It won't break your mother's back. It'll break you. You've been warned. Jeff Goblin Terminators. Do, 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 do. Jeff Goblin Terminators. I'm fairly old. I've lived 90 years on this planet and and i i what what the hell are you why what what are you looking at me for i, I am jeff goblin terminator oh. let me just use my sexy eyes to read what is hold on there hold on hold on i i have a way to deal with this as a jeff goldblum I have a way to deal with all problems, and that's to go to my sexy place. So I'm going to my half horizontal, half vertical place, and I'm using my my sexuality uh, on you. It doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I am robot. You will be exterminated and sent into the Jeff Goldblum void. Wait, I'm Jeff Goldblum. I should have a quip. Some witty thing! Um, um... Jeff Goblum's find her way. Beep! Ah, 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 ah. No, no, I'm still alive! No, no, I'm dying, I'm dying. Beep! No, no, oh, no, no, no way, I still... Oh, I'm Jeff Gold. No, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. This is like whack-a-mole, except for with Jeff Gold. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm still sexy. And into the void he goes. Population of Earth. Jeff Goldblum's. And that's our show!